Hi there, I was talking to, with my friend Robert about um, how to get scratches off of these dolls and he told me about a video he watched on YouTube and um, what they used was a uh, micro mesh set that starts the sandpaper off at 1500 and all the way up to 3600. So I looked on um, Amazon and um, eBay and um, the cheapest I could find it was like $24.95 with a $6.99 shipping. So um, I was at Walmart and I saw these um, nail care buffing system by Trim and I thought, you know, it can't be much different than, um, because this is just for buffing your nails, it can't be much different than that sandpaper. Um, this was a dollar eighty-eight, and you get three. One says clean, two says condition, and three says shine. Shine just feels like paper. It doesn't even feel like there's any grit. Um, condition feels very smooth too, and then you've got the um, clean, which does you can actually feel the grit on the clean on the um, nail buffer that says clean. So I also got myself a set of the uh, 1200 uh, grit sandpaper. I figured you're only talking a 300 um, difference on this grit, so I thought it can't be much different. So anyway, this was one of those 99 cent dolls I bought, and there's a lot of scratches on this, so I thought I was going to attempt to try this. And I got a lot of the scratches off. I don't know if you remember this uh, video, but um, this doll had a scratch that went right across the eye here, and I thought, okay, I'm going to try it on this one. The scratch came completely off. He had scuff marks. He had white spots. Um, he still has a lot of cleaning to do, but I got a lot of it off with just using these um, items. He's got a big scratch here on his arm. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how I do it on um, this doll right here. I don't know if you can see it on the on the video or not. Um, let me see if you can see it with the, through the... Well, let's try this one. I, can you see right there is a whole big scratch of white and I couldn't get it off with just washing it. So I'm going to use the um, sandpaper. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right there and it's white speckles. And um, I'm going to use the 1200 sandpaper and I'm going to um, sand that off and you can see the marks that the sandpaper leaves. It looks like a scuff mark now. So once you've got those white marks off, you can take your clean and go like this and that will remove the um, mark from the 1200 sandpaper. And then you can, um, when you think you've got it where it's almost I have to use a magnifier because I have terrible eyesight. So once you feel like you've got it completely off, and um, this is the clean, you can go down to the conditioner, the conditioning um, one, and smooth out any leftover marks. And then if you even want to go even further than that, you can go to the shine. The shine doesn't do much, it just will smooth out. And those little white marks are completely gone now. And it doesn't take the... Now I haven't tried anything that was painted, but this was just plain old vinyl. And it came right out. And those white marks are gone now. I had a spot on Dana, she's one of my journey girls. She had a spot on her face. And I... Um, just use these uh, buffing um, nail files and I was able to get it off. I started with number three, I mean number one, and then I just smoothed it out with number two and um, that was that. Okay, so let's try this one over here. I don't know, it's so hard to see on the video. I know that it's hard to see. Let me see if I can find a really bad shine mark. Um, I don't know if you can see these or not, but there's a whole bunch of scratches right here on the doll's face. Right here's here's one, here's one. It's like they just scraped it up against something. So I'm going to take my 1200 and I'm going to um, just sand it down.
And this is so fine. You, 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 well, you can see how much um, vinyl's coming off on the um, on the sandpaper. Not very much, but you do see a little bit of white marks. It just looks like a scuff. But you know, if you want to spend the, I think the cheapest I've seen those uh, sets of uh, the higher mesh sandpaper is like. Um, I think I saw them as low as $19.99, but then they had um, $8.99 shipping, so they'll get you one way or the other. And these were $1.88, and they work, seem to work just as fine. Okay, so I don't know, you probably can't see that, but um, those scratches are almost completely gone. I just got to buff off those, um, just buff off those... Um, uh, scuff marks from the sandpaper. And there you go. There's still a little bit. I might have to do another treatment. Um, you know, when you start working on this, you'll, you'll know exactly what to use for pressure and what not. But um, sometimes just these, just these alone will get the white spots off and the marks and the scratches. But sometimes you do need the higher grade to get those scratches off. But it also works on the uh, shine marks too. There's a shine mark on the cheek there. Let's see if it'll come right off with the, the clean only. I got a lot of white spots off the other doll. But just work it. And you don't need, you, you know, you can't really be in a hurry when you're doing this. But, you know, you can get these dolls looking almost brand new. I couldn't get over how well this one cleaned up. That whole scratch was right across the eye. You could even see it on one of my videos. And it is completely gone now. Just amazing. I still got a little spot here to do. But um, as bad as my eyesight is, I have to do it with magnifying glass. But, you know, it's worth it. So $1.88 at Walmart for the buffing kit from Trim. I think I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents at um, um, Builders. What was it? Um, Builders Emporium or something. Two ninety nine for the twelve hundred grit. But you can probably get them anywhere. Walmart, Lowe's. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.